Off the start line, here he goes, looking in the distance, dead easy, no problem, just up through the gearbox, just waiting for the top of the Sandinian. Bush on the right hand side, that's what I need to look for, there it is, just there's the bush, just there, in there on the right, pull over to the left, centre of the road, just a little crest of the road, look for the Christmas tree in the distance, come back over now to the left, get to the closest there now with the manhole cover, come over, look to the bottom of the kerb on the right hand side of the road, pull it right straight, nice little wheelie over Agos, nice little wheelie over this one as well, just there, and there's your breaking point now, that white house, the white house on the left hand side, just down the gear, down one gear, and then come back on the power now just to jump over that little crest there, centre of the road, stay away from the left, okay, breaking now hard, Port Bridge, busiest roundabout section on the island, Full tank of fuel, cold tyres, dead easy to fall off. Go nice and steady, nice and steady. Get the power on, nice and steady. There we go. Come up now, the, the white line splits the white wall. There we go, there's your braking point. Braking now for the first left hand bend, okay? So, we're almost two miles on the circuit, cold left hand side of the tyres. So be careful, okay? Be careful. Climb over the bike again, watch it here now. Look, there's a depression there, dead easy to lose the front just there as well. So, be careful there. Get the power on nice and hard for your run out now, up towards Snugger, okay? Yeah, Snugger bend, okay? Beautiful, it's open, it's smooth, it's gorgeous. Look at that, it's lovely. Pull the bike straight again here, over towards the curb on the right hand side. The road there's a breaking point just there where the white line finishes down one gear come back on the power underneath the wall breaking hard now breaking hard back down now underneath on the right hand side of the road hard watch the bump just here just there it is and watch the bottom of the dip there as well out to the pavement on the right hand side back up through the gearbox all the way up through now the battle hook chunks so get your elbows in your knees in your toes in towards balagari okay remember balagari for me it's the most important corner on the whole circuit okay that's the one i need to get right the most important is straight afterwards okay so at the dip here i'm looking to the curb on the inside but the curb is on the inside i'm looking for the white line okay so there's the white line there it is now back on the power see that white line so keep it up now back through back to top gear nice little lift there on the wheel elbows in again toes in knees in this one flat out okay you can't come from here for flat out on the first night of practice so this one here dj's this one here just under there okay over towards watch the curb just sticks out on the right hand side of the road stay there now come over to the left where the telegraph pole is on the left just there stay on the right hand side of the road don't come over to the left stay on the right as close to the curb as possible for this big jump here this one's like going into outer space okay it lands i'm still full gas all the way from Malagari. you see that's why Malagari is so important okay so look for the white house see the white house in the distance there it is now okay so there's your braking point down one gear come back on the power through these three left one two three braking now this left hand bend here now at Greenberg Castle okay watch this one here boys watch this one see the camera goes away from you just there very easy to high side there on the exit okay short shift it for this little jump just here where you run through in towards Appledean okay keep the power on keep the power on shut the throttle climb over the bike and back on the power again let it run out towards the two dogs back underneath the kerb on the right hand side of the road and back out then towards this hay bale there on the left braking now just there where the kerb sticks out the Greenberg Bridge okay two traps watch the wall and watch the bump on the road just there that's it, keep, keep it on, get up for the gearbox, back up the to top gear as quick as you can through now and towards course lead. First one's not a problem, this first one's easy, it's okay, so the next one, late apex, remember it's late, so it's not as you see it, so it's late, it's not now, go in now, okay, so it's not that one, it's that one, difficult, it takes you years to get that one right, okay, so we run down now, in towards Valacrine, okay, so I'm breaking the mushroom tree just there, there we go, breaking, coming down through the gearbox, get steadied up, so we run through Valacrine, nice little smooth corner, back on the power up from the wall, in towards my corner here on the left hand side just don't go in too early and catch your shoulder on the wall okay so underneath there right underneath stay over onto the right and just go into then number one okay, into number one out to the white line back into number two then cross the white line on the exit if you run down now towards Blake Bridge okay down one gear at Blake Bridge well, you want to be excellent on the right hand side of the road if you're carrying plenty of speed lovely if you run down now towards Laurel Bank okay these three rights here don't go in too early okay back in to that last one now pull the bike straight climb over the bike back on the power lovely look for the first chevron on the left hand side of the road there it is on the early apex for this one, okay? Nice early apex and drive it out. For your run up now, up towards the black dub, okay? Just watch this little step in the road, just drops away just here. Pull the bike straight, over to the right side of the road, and then back on the power now for the late apex there now. Climbing over the bike, really hard to move the bike turn through there, okay? For your run up now and towards Glen Helen 1, okay? So here's Glen Helen, out for the first orange sign, there it is. Lovely, lovely like Daytona out to the second orange sign, and watch this one, the camera goes the other way. Watch the front, horrible. Okay, drive to the wall, just there, off down one gear, and then back in towards the black square in the centre of the road and back on the power. Watch the camber of the road again there, it goes away from you, very easy to crash. Look for the tree here, the camber of the road goes from right to left, very easy to crash. See the yellow flags? Because someone's crashed here. <laughs> okay, so watch the camber of the road there, it's terrible. If you run up then, up here now, up Great Willys Hill, up towards Lamfell. Keep on the power, you need to keep the power on to keep driving, you want the hard to get the bike to turn. If you run up now, up towards Congolodia, look, it's like a different racetrack, the whole road opens up for you. If you run up through now, just get top gear just as you come up onto the top of the gear, on top of the front of the body. Look at now, you have to breathe. Get three deep breaths into your body to get some oxygen to your brain and then hold your breath then for the end of the trunk of body, okay? Here we go, end of the trunk of body, look at it. Oh, it's fast. Oh, 
we go on now join the gearbox okay little bump just there on the exit if you run down now in towards the 11th milestone okay fat fast for the first one slow down for this second one now so i'll let it drift out towards the curve on the right side of the road back up now all i'm thinking about now is hamleys i've got to be thinking what i'm coming to all the time i've got to be thinking what i'm approaching into hamleys now okay so there the 30 mile hour sign breaking down one gear it's really fast through here on the class bike dip it into the left it's the right that you want okay then cross out then over watch this little dip just here see it just rotates and drops away make sure the bike is straight for that one as well if you run down now and towards the top of the garrow that's all i need to worry about now is the top of the garrow i'm full gas thinking top of the garrow get the top of the garrow right okay center of the road there just a little wheelie just there a over towards the cottage on the left hand side then pull back straight underneath the curb so you right in by the curb open the road up here back on the power it's a beautiful corner pull the bike straight bumpy on the exit okay run down now towards the bottom of the garrow make sure the bike you must drive the bike through don't come through in a closed throttle drive the bike through see jump up back in the power there to make sure the bike jumps through towards the 13th milestone unlucky for some unlucky 13 it's horrible late apex on the entry late apex on the exit so don't go in now stay a little bit later now go in see there's the apex there pull the bike straight just watch the wall and again don't go in too early for this one stay out late 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 there now go in there's the apex there you see late on the entry late on the exit if you run down now in towards kurt michael okay into douglas road corner this right hand bend it's like a funnel it's really narrow here okay so get your braking done there the crossroads just there and braking slow all your speed off and get make sure you get back on the power now to get back driver through okay it's one that really sucks you in early if you run up through the village now for kurt michael village is lovely it's the best thing going because it's a real good sense of speed okay don't have to worry about it just keep the throttle pinned just watch the curve just there over then towards Slew Kern Park on the right side of the road get your exit out of the village okay yellow line yellow line so there's the first yellow line there's your second yellow line there's your third yellow line okay it's the last one that's the problem we run now towards Ren Cullen okay come down one gear whatever gear in down one gear get the power back on make the white wheelie then go underneath the wall here now underneath the wall and stay to the right stay on the white line stay on the white line for the last one pull the bike straight now for the most wheelie even on the classic bike look Okay, you must make sure the bike is straight for the jump. If you run down now up towards Bishop's Court, okay, it's, it's beautiful. It's very dark under the trees, that's unusual. Look for the curb on the inside, keep the full power, full power, curb on the inside, there it is, and then get straight underneath the hedge on the right hand side of the road. Let the bike drift over the white line, full bike moves around, in towards now this next section, Iceman's. Curb, hedge, curb. Okay, so there's curb, there's the hedge, there's the curb. If you run down now in towards Alpine, first plateau down one gear, okay, over the crest and back on the power again. It's the bumps on the road the problem there. It's a beautiful corner, just the undulations upset you up. Okay, if you run down now towards Balakov, this fast right hander, not a problem, it's a lovely corner. If you run through here, now breaking from my breaking point with 30 mile an hour signs for the last bridge, okay, no later than the 30 mile an hour signs. Bumpy on the entry, so bumpy it is, it's horrible. Okay, the bridge comes up really fast, let the brakes off, get back in the power, jump it over. Back on the gas now, all the way out through. There's John waving at the crowd. <laughs> Um, we run through now, out through, up through the gearbox, okay, so I've gone over Balaf Bridge, which is a big jump, now we're coming to the biggest jump on the, on the racetrack, okay, called Balacry, it is going to make you cry, okay, there's fast left hand bend here, and straight after it's a big jump, up to the curb on the inside, white line just there, if you run through, make sure the bike is straight, the bike has to be straight, wheelies and lands, okay, if you run down now, I talked about Balagarian being the most important, this for me is the second most important, quarry bends, okay, got to keep the momentum through it, okay, so very fast, really fast, down one gear, back in the power, underneath that right let cross the white line and drag the bike you have to drag the bike across the white line again and then back underneath then over the bike again underneath the hedge over the bike again underneath the curb over the bike again underneath the hedge again so so important so fast and that's it now again elbows in knees in toes in get in behind that screen get in out of that wind and we run down now so we'll be straight okay so that's it now full gas look for your competitors in front of you as well boys okay look see if you can see them on the road you know you're closing down okay and you're going well so look for them in the distance for them if you can catch them got loads of time we run down through this fast right hand bend. It's, a bit, it's not it's not a straight, it's a bend. As soon as you see the bridge, start braking. So that's a braking nice and nice and hard now for, uh, into Solby Bridge, okay? Just remember it comes up so so fast. John's waving to the crowd there, but remember you can't afford to do that on a race day, okay? So just get back on the power over towards the pub here on the right side. Get over towards the ginger, right over there into the gutter on the right hand side of the road. Okay, and then underneath the telegraph pole just there on the left. Let the bike run out to the right, underneath the left here now, and pull the bike straight over here on the right hand side of the road. See how it just jumps a little bit? Bumpy, so so bumpy. These next two, three miles now into Rams here, horrendous. Okay, so back on the power now, ride the bumps. Don't go in too early to this next right, okay? So you've got a right and then a left and then a jump. Okay, so just get it in, pull the bike straight, over on the left and pull the bike straight now. Jump over on the right side of the road and stay on the right hand side of the road, okay? It's so bumpy. Stay on the right because we've got a little left hand kink here, okay? So, so bumpy. Stand up on the footrest, ride like a motocross bike, okay? Just use your legs and arms for suspension. So bumpy. But listen, John's not shut the throttle at all. It's so important to keep the power on. Keep 
power on, over the jump here now, over towards the white wall on the right hand side of the road, and I'm back on the power, and braking now, down a couple of gears, and I'm back on the power just to drag underneath the wall just there, see, just drags you under, see the corner, braking, back down this lovely left hand bend, beautiful, back on the power now, up through the gearbox again, back up through, back to top gear as fast as I can go, through these little kinks here now, remember I said curb, hedge, curb earlier, and curb, hedge, curb, hedge, curb, okay, so just keep it as straight as possible through the conquer field, okay, just watch the key on the tree where the curb sticks out, into the bumpiest corner of the whole circuit now, Okay, bottom of Sky Hill is horrendous. Big bump just there, big bump just there. So, so bumpy. So, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Back on through, keep the level throttle. Through this right now, pull the bike straight. Just watch the front here. Tank slapped a little bit. Keep the bike straight. Short shift towards Milltown Bridge. Just a little wheelie just there underneath the bridge here now at Milltown. Okay, let the bike run out to the left. If you run down now in towards Ramsey, okay? Looking for your braking point now into, into Schoolhouse Corner just there, where the road cuts away on the left. Bumpy here on the exit. Driving down through on the crossroads, big bump just there, bang. Breaking now into the nice new surface, into Parliament Square. Okay, don't fall off here, there's far too many people to fall here. Right here to fall off. Get back on the power, short shift it now back out. Watch the camera, the road goes away from you, so people off even high side are just there, okay? Into this horrible corner here called Cruikshanks or May Hill, okay? Where the, where the wall on the right hand side, where that meets the curb, just there, that's your apex point. Okay, bumpy, stay on the left all the way around, so, so bumpy. We run now up towards White Gates, this one here, okay? Lovely left hand bend, drive up through now towards Stella Maris, my favourite corner on the whole circuit, it's beautiful, cambered corner, it's beautiful, right underneath there, oh, spit you out to the other side of the road, breaking now at the, the right side on the right hand side of the road, into the hairpin, okay? Back down through, keep your revs up now, especially the old classic bikes, slipping the clutch just here maybe a little bit, just to get the thing to drive, and that's it now, I'm climbing all the way up now, for the next four or five miles, I'm just climbing, 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 so again, obviously, keep the power on as quick as I can, into, into this one here now, waterworks, slow down, slow down a little bit for the first one, slow down a lot for this one, okay, bumpy, so, so bumpy, and it's tight again, remember, late apex, look how bumpy it is, if you're driving up now through, now tower bends, okay, tower bends is beautiful, it's just, it's bumpy, okay, there's a bump just there, there's a bump just here, one, two and three there on the exit okay if you run up now towards the gooseneck keep it on keep it on underneath the white square here on the right hand side of the road braking now climb over the bike and back on the power now to drive it through again braking now in towards the gooseneck okay just get the thing turned and back on the power as quick as you possibly can john's waving to the crowd here and playing with the gearbox <laughs> if you run up now through this fast left hand bend it's beautiful okay it's fast left hand bend not a problem that one, out towards the little tree on the right hand side of the road, it's this one here, because the camera goes away from it at mid corner, so you come through here now and the front goes light just there, when you're on full song, okay, if you run up now towards the 26th milestone, bumpy, you have to just roll the throttle, climb over the bike and back on the power again, but bumpy, bumpy on the exit just here, number three, this for me is the third most important corner on the whole circuit, this is the steepest part of the circuit for the classic bikes, you've got to really keep your momentum on through this fast left, into number one, out to the white line, into number two, out to the white line, into number three, braking as soon as you see the bridge in front of you, Okay, climb over the bike and watch the camber. See the camber goes away from you as well. Dead easy to lose the front here as well, so be careful. Drag the bike over to the right as far as you can to the right hand side of the road and look underneath the scaffolding tower. See the scaffolding tower just there on the left? That's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. Hard on the gas now through the snotty bridge, this little right hand bend here called the snotty bridge. Bumpy on the exit as you come out. Boom, boom, boom. Again, elbows in, knees in, toes in. Looking for your competitors in front of you. You need to be in top gear just before that, okay? Otherwise, you know your gear is a mile out. If you run up now, I'm looking for the competitors in front of me again. You can get to take a little bit of a rest, but don't rest too much because these little kinks can catch you out, okay? Through these little big bridges at the end here, for the first bridge, okay? For the first bridge, let the, through the first bridge, let the bike run out then to the left-hand side of the road, and then back then underneath, and then braking now at the second bridge just there. There we go, into the mountain box here now. Ignore the first one, out to the white line. Back into number two, there's number two. Cross the white line, back into number three just here. Perfect, back up through the gearbox as fast as I can go, okay? We run now down towards George's Folly. Just keep going back up through the gearbox. Again, this next right-hand bend, this one here called George's Folly or Casey's. You need to take it flat out, okay? It takes you all week again to get that one flat, okay? If you run now down and towards the black here, okay, down one gear, bumpy on the right-hand side, bang! Back on the paper veranda. Remember, there's four bends. You've got to count them, boys, in your head. Here's number one, stay out. Here's number two, stay out. Here's number three, this is number three, that's the one you go for, number three. Back into number three, back into number four, and then out on the exit. Back to top gear now on the exit. Okay, if you run down now into a bungalow bridge, remember this one, it's a nightmare. Really bad, really dangerous, dead easy to crash here. The camber's with you here, it's positive camber here. You go for this one, there's a bump in the road just there, and then it goes negative camber, so it's dead easy to crash. I've crashed there myself, so I know all about it, okay? So just be so careful with that one. Run out then towards a the black box here on the left hand side of the road. Out to the black box, and then you know this is the corner now. You go right underneath the curb on the right hand side of the road. Climb over the bike and back on the power now to go through bungalow. If you drive up then now, under the bridge here now at the bungalow, again, elbows in, knees in, 
can't climb up to the highest point on the circuit now, towards Brandywell, okay? So I'm looking now for an oblong white sign on the left-hand side, that's what I'm looking for, okay? So you need to be in here on the right, over then towards the oblong sign here now on the left. Okay, there it is. And then back then on to the, the bollards, as close as you can on the bollards on the right-hand side of the road. And then back on the power now, apex just there, okay? Brandywell's exactly the same as the 33rd, and exactly the same as Kepler. Okay, so we're coming up now to the 32nd or, or, or Dukes, okay? So slow down for the first one, drive through the second two. So here now, slowing down for this one, here's number one. So slow, slow for this one, back in the power now for number two. Out to the white line, back in for number three. Perfect, it's a beautiful corner, so important. Breaking now for windy corner, it's called that for that reason. It's always windy. If it's a windy day at the bottom, it's going to be terrible up there. Bumpy on the exit, just there. So you run up through the gearbox. Coming up now to the 33rd milestone. Remember, it's just the same as Brandywell. So go over to the left, to then close to the bollards, for the left-hand bend, okay? So we'll like, drift over now to the left-hand side of the road, out towards the orange sign over there on the left, and then back then underneath the bollards. See, John's dragging the bike over to the right, and then back of the power now to get underneath the left. It's beautiful. Gorgeous corner, it's orgasmic, it's awesome. Okay, if you run now down towards Keppel, Keppel's exactly the same as that last corner we've just gone through. We'll aim now for the white box, okay? Over towards the white box here on the left-hand side of the road, then get underneath the bollards, okay? Stay as close to those bollards as possible, climb back over them, back in the power now to get through. Okay, run over to the right, dropping down now, you see? So you're dropping back down now towards Douglas, over towards Kate's Cottage. You can't get through it flat, you've got to roll it, back on the power again, before you run through, down towards the Kregner Bar. Over the little jump just here. Here we go, coming down now, there's some braking marker boards on the right-hand side. Number three, generally as a rule, is the place you want to be start braking. Dead easy to outbrake yourself, okay? Brandish now has changed, so it's more important now to get the speed out of this corner. If you run down now towards Brandish, okay? So, so important, Brandish, it's so fast, it's beautiful. Really Okay, it used to be third gear, now it's fifth gear. Even the classic bike, it might even just be a roll and sit. It's so bad, perfect. Light apex, see through the corner. It's a beautiful, beautiful corner. Just move on the right side of the road. Yeah, John's just come down one gear there now, you see. Back to fifth, drive it through. Let it run out on the exit. Perfect. Okay, from the run down now, in towards this one here, Hillbury. So you've gone from a lovely corner to a complete other corner, okay? Light apex again, you can't see it. You know it goes to the right, you just can't see your peeling point. There it is now, back on the power. Just gotta wait, just be patient. If you run up now towards Crockton Lona, uphill takes all the power out of the bike, three left hand bends, ignore the first one, so stay out a little bit for the first one, so stay out, now go back in for number two. There's number two, underneath the hedge, it's bumpy as well. Here's number three, breaking up the green sign. See that green sign? No later than that green sign now for signpost corner. Watch it on the front end, very hard through there. If you drive up through now towards Bedstead, okay? Watch Bedstead, for me it's the hardest corner on the circuit. Look to the inside where the, the manhole, where the signpost is there, and back on the power. Towards the nook, okay? Breaking here now, number two marker board, the nook sign. Where the white line is on the inside, look for where that ends, and back on the power now to drive it through. If you run down now, at the shell grip, just there, there's your braking point. Watch this little bump just here, let the brakes off, ride it again, braking hard now into going to Governor's Bridge. Okay, remember, so easy to fall off around here, you don't want to be falling off here, it's going to spoil your race, okay? You're not going to hurt yourself, but it's going to spoil your race. Back up through, just get the thing back up through, point it up through, just watch the little bump on the end as you come out and drips it now, drive it really hard over the start and finish line. Beautiful, okay? Absolutely beautiful. So there's John done one lap, we've got another three to go now, okay? So that's it. 